last time on Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob tortured a group of senior citizens and infiltrated the entrance to Mermaid Man's lair. Only then did he find out that the robots were in control of the lair's entire security system. SpongeBob jumped and battled his way through waves of robots, only to find out that he couldn't talk to Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy for some reason. So he sent Tin Patrick to help tend to the elderly, which he promptly did. What shenanigans will unfold in today's episode? Uh, I have no idea. Maybe Gary will save the day or something, who knows. Just watch the video. Anyway. Extremely pointless slide number 52, which actually isn't pointless because you needed to get a sock. So guess who's going to do it again? Beaveth. He's gonna do it again. <laughs> uh, what do you use all those socks for? <laughs> okay, that, that's enough Beavis and Butthead for one day. <sighs> I might do more impressions later if people like them. All depends. But in the meantime, we gotta die from being bombarded. Because these enemies are the pure disdain of my existence. Left wall jump activated. Fresh like a spring breeze. I can't wolf whistle. You're supposed to defeat these guys with the bubble wool, but it's not necessary. You can just run up there and hit them. Except, of course, when you have robots with nearly perfect aim who always manage to hit you from other parts of the level. And we gotta make this game s hard somehow. Uh, oh, come on! I just killed you! Uh, there's a robot spawner 60,002 over there. And there's one over here. You can kiss my ass. Pointless slide in the middle of nowhere to get me back to the rotating platform. Oh, hey, we get a free golden spatula. What? To my understanding, there was only one golden spatula in the series, but now there's suddenly, like, 90. I don't know. In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermelair. The first one is here. Press the buttons! Got it! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here. Got it. 
Are you listening to me? Listening! Got it! No, I just assumed that I was supposed to press the buttons. Since, you know, the game kind of gave me a counter. Oh boy. The villain containment system area. Gee, I wonder who they're Gary, having. I see you keeping made your there. way down to the deepest recesses of the Mermelair. Wow. Oh, you took the elevator. Oh, how do I get to the top of this room? Wow. You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. Hmm. I bet those tunnels that you didn't show will take me to the top. Yeah. If I ever die to an enemy, it's probably going to be those stupid bomb throwing what's-its. And those hammers. But yeah. Hey, remember the disco floor? It's a gameplay mechanic. Okay, we got... Robots. Because you can't just put jellyfish in here. You can't just have an entire jellyfish army or anything like that. SpongeBob really doesn't have any natural enemies. My game's suffering from slowdown, probably because all of all the pointless lighting effects. Your game is not Battlefield 3. It does not need tons and tons of bloom. Here's a pointless for Gotta find some way to make this hard. You're slowing down your game like because of fun. all the lighting effects on the floor and in the air. And you're going to get your ass split in half by a missile flying out of nowhere and these tartar sauce flinging jerks. Do you want to spend... 400,000 shiny objects to massage my feet. Oh, hey, there's another button. Obviously, the game doesn't want us to press this button because that would be stupid. Damn it, I do not have enough. Maybe I can glitch my way up there. Oh, those bastards, they thought of everything. Alright, maybe I can go into the next area. Find something in there to suffice. I think it said ball area, that... The Mermelair ball area. Why in the holy hell do Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy have an area dedicated to balls in their Mermelair? I, I don't even know. At this point, it's just best not to ask questions at all. Oh, and I remember this part being obfuscatingly annoying. But yeah. Look, boy, there's gold under that glass. Gold, I say. My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it. Come on, you already have like ten golden spatulas you're keeping from me. Why is this one so important? All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. 
My wallet's counting on you. <laughs> but it's not yours. Okay, well that's all the security override buttons. I've effectively destroyed the Mermelair. Thanks for breaking it, SpongeBob. Can I? Apparently not. Come on now. I know this is what I have to do. There we go. You see, that. is professional. This area was clearly here only to demonstrate the game's physics. Where's the ball? There it is. Go, 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 come on. There we go. Yes. I win. Oh god, oh god. Hey, 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 slow down, slow down. Come on. No! No! Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. Alright, this time I'm gonna make it. This time I'm gonna make it! Up. What type of music I should play over to this? Okay, let's not dawdle around, let's go. The ball can take care of its health. I don't need to watch over your balls all the time, mermaid man. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh, you bastard! No! What did that- oh, okay. What the- oh, no, 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 no! Rolling down the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming down the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. Oh, no. Come on now. Don't do this to me. Uh, uh, there we go. And so, we hit the button here, and that triggered a scripted cutscene. Oh, and yes, I know there's a sock back there. I'm gonna go get it. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. I like the idea of the breakfast of a breakfast machine type of contraption, but man. Well done, SpongeBob. Now, how's about giving old Mr. Krabs that shiny gold? Hell no. I'll give you promotion. Do you know a what I had promotion? to go through? Sure. You'll get a whole extra 10 seconds added to your break time. Woo! 20 second break! Do I dare? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. As enticing as that sounds, I can't give this to you. I need every golden spatula I can get. I understand, boy. I'll just dock 30 seconds from your break time instead. Wow! That means I have a negative 20 second break. Thanks, Mr. Krabs. <sighs> SpongeBob. Why? Why are you? I feel like a new sponge. Okay, well, I can go back to the main chamber, but I have enough shiny things to open up a new area in the last area which probably leads to nothing but I still might check it out anyways just because this game always is just drying me bankrupt of all these shiny th shiny things oh well well I gotta remember if I get hit once in this area I'm probably gonna fall off so oh no no yeah Platforming. Oh crap. No. All that for a sock. Thanks, game. You're the best. No, I'm kidding. You're not. 
can I... Or I could just go like that. I could die, and I could be set back here. Okay, that, that just leads backwards into the... Yeah, the rolling ball area. Let us never speak of this place again. It is evil and should be condemned. The OSHA should ban this place from existence. It only adds salt to the wound that badly voiced Mr. Krabs is in it. I have regained control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. What well, if I don't want to? Theoretically, SpongeBob could just like reach his hand in and punch the button. But no, that would make the game way too easy. Anyway, now it's time to fight the level's boss. <laughs> A few of you might recognize him from. Wait, no, you won't. The security system has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory! Yeah, well, Justin Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's BCS. That's Villain Containment System. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh, no. It looks like one of the villains is broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The Atomic oh, Flounder? Oh. The Dirty Bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy, Prawn. Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes, but now I see it's just a couple of pieces of now driftwood. <sighs> Prawn, I'll never forgive you, you madman. What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Everything I own turned pink! Pink! How oh, horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge! There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man. You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Holy crap. Well, take care of Prawn. How long is this cutscene? I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man. Even though you're not dead. So yeah, we have to face... Mustachio Trunken Blue Mr. Krabs. I'm not even kidding. And of course, the game has to force the Bubba Bowl mechanic onto us, so that's the only way to beat him. At least we get the pumpy workout music. It works out because he looks like he's in workout clothes. Seriously though, I don't think Prawn has ever been mentioned in this series. Ever. So yeah, this is just THQ pulling stuff out of their ass now. Not like they haven't really done that already, but... Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong, maybe Prawn was mentioned in an episode, who knows. But I sure as hell never saw him. Matter of fact, they should dedicate a future episode to him. No, no, not again! This is not fair! I got a frozen wedgie for this! Is this the end of Prawn? Prawn is safe! 
safely locked away again, thanks to you, Frankie. My name's SpongeBob. Here, <laughs> I found this in my sock drawer, next to a bunch of pink socks. It's another golden spatula. Thank you, Mermaid Man. I shall always live my life by your shining example. Let goodness and kindness... Are you still here? Well, I guess it would kind of be impossible to make an episode for Prawn now that he's cryogenically frozen for eternity. Now that you mention it, he could be Plankton. <gasps> no, no. That's not possible. So I don't end up making the same mistake as I did with Goo Lagoon. Let's check to see if I have all the spatulas. Pretty sure I do. Hooray! And I have all the socks, too. Not bad. Alright. Time to leave. There is a Patrick thingy there, but it probably leads to just some shiny things, so... It's time for me to stop caring and get out of here. Let's see, how much time do I have left? I have recorded for about 51 minutes. I guess real quick I could show you what the police station looks like. All it is is like an enemy archive that shows you like the different techniques of the enemies and stuff. Really, that's all it is. So, but I'll show it to you anyway, because I don't even know why. It's entirely pointless. Okay, so we have generic desk reception NPC who does nothing. We have a bunch of useless props, and here's the thing that shows you the enemies, but let's hit this thing first. Because I need to stall for time. The case files of captured robots. This is starting to sound like Dead Rising. Okay, so we have five more enemies yet to discover. I wonder who the last one will be. I don't know, but... Arf. I didn't know they made dog houses by the caliber. So then, next time... Uh, we're going to rock bottom. The most boring level in all of existence. Well, not, it's not really boring, it's just... I don't like the atmosphere. <gasps> oh! And as you can see, over there, that's Kelp Forest. That's another future level. Darn, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have spoiled it. But anyway, yeah, we're going to Kelp Forest eventually. And, um, next time we will take the taxi to Rock Bottom. The scariest place in the deep blue sea. Besides Patrick's house. Until next time, I'm Lord X of X, the X Marios, and, um, don't forget to comb your hair in the morning when you go to school. I don't know. <laughs>